Hey guys, Pete here from Top Deck Cards and Games. And DJ here at Top Deck Cards and Games as well. And we're going to crack open some of the new Pokemon Primal Clash. Now, this set's been pretty hyped so far on the internet for a while. It's got some pretty sweet stuff in it. Lots of really cool stuff. So let's yeah. see what we open up here. We'll see who got the better box. Hopefully we get some sweet new uh, cards from the new Ruby and Sapphire games. Oh, absolutely. This thing's littered with them. There we go. Look at these beautiful stacks. Some some pretty looking packs, you know. Look, look at the artwork on there. I'm feeling it. Get that Kyogre. I love me some Kyogre. Just big old wheel. Doesn't doesn't give much of a care. All right. Looking through here. Let's see, I have here reverse Tang Growth, and yeah, we have one of the new cards in this. Metachamps, an ancient trade Pokemon, a half art, if you will. Which is some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, I got one of those too, the Macargo. The the art on them is really sweet, actually. It's really nice. I, I really appreciate what Pokemon does with the cards to give them more sweet art. Absolutely. Neat thing about these guys, they have ancient traits. They're not considered abilities, and they're just always active on them. Like here, this Metacham's got Barrage. Basically allows it to attack twice. Yeah, the Macargo's ability actually lets it ignore trainer effects on it from your opponent, so... You're not going to Lysander it up, you can't catch her it, you can't laser it. That's actually pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. Then just some sweet trainers, some strictly better potion, teammates are just insane, and, you know, weakness policy happened. I mean, it's a, it's a cool card. I could pro I could see it seeing some play, but I don't expect it to, you know, everybody lose their mind no, over I it. agree, I agree. Uh, yeah, so... Pretty cool stuff. Absolutely, let's get right to it. All right, here we have here a. Uh, I don't even want to reiterate the name of that card. I feel it's not appropriate for children. Maxi's hidden ball trick is what it's called. Doesn't want to do it. Does it? It's a neat supporter. You can only use it if it's the only card in your hands. It allows you to grab a fighting type out of your discard, throw it on your bench, and draw five cards. And when it states fighting type, it does it means any fighting type. It doesn't could be have a to mega. Be basic. Could be a mega. Could be a stage two. Doesn't matter. Throw them on your bench. It can be really, really sick, especially if you want them to cycle like a mega, like Pete just said. We got the Kyogre Spirit Link, got a Reverse Combustion, and we got two of the new half art cards, which both look really sweet. Absolutely. Bunnelby and Nido Queen. The Bundle B is really cool because it's another barrage one that allows it to attack twice, and it's a mill. It's one attack, you basically discard a top card off your opponent's deck. Yeah, the Nido Queen also gets to attack twice, though. Her attacks aren't quite as sweet to spam. You know, double poisoning someone's not as cool, and I didn't get through the second one yet, but... Although, yeah, double poisoning not as cool, but Dynamite Punch dealing 70 but 20 to yourself. Doing that twice, yeah, you'll do 40 yourself, but you're dealing 140 It's damage. 140 if you have like a, a muscle man or something on there, that'll one-shot most things. Exactly. So it can be a lot of damage pretty quickly. It's pretty silly. It's really neat, and I really like it. I've played my fair share of Nido cards in Pokemon, so... <laughs> Nido King and Nido Queen are always some of my favorites from the originals. All right, looking through this pack here, we have... Reverse Foil Volbeat. We have another one of those fancy half arts, Electric. With uh, Alpha Recovery, basically any healing that's done to it's doubled. Throw a potion on it, heal 60, which is pretty cool. And a Kyogre Spirit Link. Gotta get that Primal Kyogre without losing your turn. Over here we have another Weakness Poly Policy, a Ball Trick, a Reverse Foil Trap Inch, and then we got Mega Agron. Woo! First Mega of the set. Oh, he's pretty. He looks really cool. He has a neat attack for two steel and two colorless, does 120, and you can flip a coin. If you do, if it's heads, you do 240. If it's tails, you do 20 to everybody on your field. Yeah, well, we just talked about the fresh water set, which combos pretty well with that. If you happen to miss your flip, heal all the damage right off the next turn. Exactly. And other than that, like 240 is, again, just a monstrous amount of damage. 240 and is enough to take out anything. And you don't even have to flip if you don't want to. So. Exactly. If you hit anything that's metal weak, then you don't have to flip, you just destroy it. Or you could flip that insult to injury. You're oh, cool. absolutely. You can be as absurd as you want. 
Here we have Reverse Masquerain. Nothing really too special with him. And we have an Azumarill. And we have an Agron Spirit Length. That'll there go, we go. real good with that. We just got. And another Ball Trick. Yeah, over here we got Clam Pearl. We got Scorched Earth, a new stadium. <coughs> that guy's really cool. Once during each player's turn, that player may discard a Fire or Fighting Energy card from his or her hand and then draw two cards. That's really sweet. Sometimes you really just want to go fast, so... And that will really help you I go fast. I definitely respect that card. And then we got Electric. Electric's pretty cool. He's kind of adorable in that one. He is adorable. The, I already said it once, but the arts on those cards are just so sweet. They really are. All right, this pack here, we have a Reverse Foil Silent Lab, which that's a pretty cool card. I'll explain that in a minute. We have a Rhyferior as a rare, and a Shrine of Memories. All right, we're getting through the stadiums now. Silent Lab, when it's out, all basic Pokemon have no abilities, much like how Garbodor works, just a little bit more restricting. And Shrine of Memories acts like Celebi EX's ability to where it allows you to use any of your ev evolved Pokemon can use any of their pre-evolutions attacks. Over here we just got some trainer cards, we've already gone over with them, got the non-foil Macario and a reverse Beedrill. So, nothing too fancy there. That's one thing with this set, there's 164 cards in this set, which is an absurdly huge set for so Pokemon. So a lot of cards. So we're going to have a, a smorgasbord of things, and that's not necessarily bad. No, it's never a bad thing to have more options. I agree. And here we have a reverse foil freshwater set. We've got the, the the shiny water pack, an Excadrill, a regular freshwater set, and that's pretty much it for that one. Yeah, so over here, Tangrowth, reverse horsey, and then we got Archie's Ace in the hole, which is kind of like the ball trick except for water Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Which seems that there's a lot of applications for that one though, like a little more than the fighting one to be honest. Indeed, there's a lot more really cool water Pokemon that you can use a little bit better in the fighting, mm -hmm. like Blast Toys. Getting back a Mega Blast with a stick, or even in like a, a more, just adding it to an existing deck. Getting back a Kieran with it is really sweet even, so I, that's a card that I think is really poised to make an impact. All right, here we have a Reverse Foil Electric, and ooh, we have something to go with that Mega. We have, we have the, the regular Agron. Agron. Wow, he looks awesome. He does. We get a rare candy reprint in this set. And everybody's favorite, Bidoof! Oh, my man. Everybody loves Bidoof. Who doesn't? Over here, Reverse Nose Pass. Kingdra. You know, the half art tentacle. He looks pretty cool. He does look pretty and cool. And then Professor Birch's Observations. This is kind of like the old school gambler, except you're not penalized as much. You shuffle your hand into your deck and you flip a coin. If it's heads, you draw seven. If it's tails, you draw four. Yeah, shuffle draw effects were something that we didn't have too many of them in the format anyway, so it's pretty sweet even if you just get four. Like, Indeed. Sometimes you just never have turn that, that hand You can never have enough of those effects. Exactly. It's like a nice Shauna alternative if you feel a little lucky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, the losing one card... Some of the time, to sometimes get two more cards, it's probably worth it. Mm -hmm. Here in this pack, I have a Reverse Foil Gorbis. Looks kind of cool. We have a Ancient Trait Ludicolo. Ludicolo is one of my favorites. Just this crazy dancing dude little, with the sombrero that collects the water. And we have Teammates. Teammates going to see a lot of play in competitive field. Oh yeah, that card's extremely good. Getting to search any two cards from your deck is just insanely strong. Mm -hmm. and another Ace in the Hole. Rare Breloom, and then a Reverse Excadrill. That's fair. I do like Ace in the Hole better than Ball Trick, just by name alone. It's also fair. Ball Trick's a little bit, uh... A little bit out there. It's a little bit not okay. I thought they were both going to be called Ace in the Hole, to be honest. So I thought they'd been Trump Card, yeah, personally. Yeah. I think Trump Card would have made more sense. And just after I saw that one, I was like, oh yeah, they'll just both be the Ace in the Holes. I, thought they'd, I just thought the names would be, uh, like, symmetric. Mm-hmm. Here in this pack, we have a Reverse Foil Rhydon. We have one of those Ancient Trait Mac Cargos. And no trainers in this one. All right, well, over here we have Foil Energy Retrieval, which is pretty cool. I didn't even realize that was in the set. It was a neat little reprint. I think the art's pretty cool yeah, on Yeah, I like this art more than the other ones. Uh, we got the Rare Hippodon, <coughs> who is also pretty sweet. 
He is pretty sweet. And then we got Acrobike, which is look at the top two cards of your deck, put one of them into your hand and discard the other. So just another trainer to help you cycle through your deck if you're playing something that really, really needs to find some key cards. Indeed, and you gotta go fast. You always gotta go fast. More bikes, you know, we're skating, we're discarding energies to draw cards. This is everything I've ever wanted. Oh man, imagine if next set we get a mock bike. Ooh. I couldn't handle it. I couldn't handle it, Pete. I know you love going fast. Wolf gun. You gotta go fast. All right, and here we have reverse foil manetric. Looks pretty cool. Um, Diggersby though. Oh, all right. We have one of the newer trainers. Dive ball allows you to search out any water Pokemon, which is just silly. Um, one of the new special energies, Wonder Energy for fairies, can only be attached to fairies, and when it's attached to a fairy, you, it's not affected by effects from attacks. Damage still goes through, but not effects. Sometimes the effects are the best part, so that's really, really sweet. So over here, got a dive ball as well. I also got a special energy in the same pack, funny enough. The, the metal energy. That's pretty much like the old special metal I was just going to say, not the first time I've seen that card, really. It's pretty close. It's slightly different because you can only attach it to metal types. There you go. As opposed to the old one, you could throw it anywhere. And then you got a reverse stealth caddy and a Gorbis. That Gorbis is real cool. Real cool. That has the Alpha Growth Ancient Trait, which allows you, basically, when you do your hand attachment per turn, if you attach it to that, it allows you to do it twice. Oh, okay. I didn't even realize that was a different one. It's the first one with that ability, I've noticed. Indeed. Those are quite powerful. Going through the next pack, here I have a Reverse Foil Meryl. And, ooh, we got a fancy Full Art here. We have Full Art Maxi's Hidden Ball Trick. And we have the fourth stadium of the set, Rough Seas. This one's pretty neat. Once during, your, once during each player's turn, that player may heal 30 damage from each of their water Pokemon and lightning Pokemon. Oh wow, so that's really cool with like like the Manetric from last set or any of the that water work. stuff you can play. Yeah, and it'll work with a lot of good water stuff in here yeah. too. Then we have Ludicolo over here in reverse. He Love looks really sweet. Probopass. Another Shrine of Memories, and most importantly, the Sphiel. He looks awesome. Absolutely. Now that Sphiel is boss. Well, you can one-shot anything if you want to. Just flip enough coins right. Exactly. If you live the dream, that Sphiel's secretly just the best card in the set. Alright. Here we have Reverse Foil of Noon. And we have a Foil Ancient Trader, Kingdra. He's actually pretty cool. And another Scorched Earth. I had to put a sphere in here that wasn't as cool as the other one. <laughs> so we got EXP share and energy retrieval for trainers. Reverse Chinchon. Oh, where was our rare at? Oh, yeah. Rapierior. Went right past him. Hey, it happens. It's okay, buddy. I won't ignore you. <laughs> Kingdra's pretty cool. It's also an alpha growther. And it's one attack. The two water and lightning does 150. And you discard a water and lightning. But its first attack, Gather Strength, allows you to search your deck for up to four basic energy cards, reveal them, and put them into your hands. That's not bad at all. So it's Quick Energy Gather, which is pretty sweet. Alright, my pack here we have a Reverse Foil Ground On, and we got us an EX, Gardevoir EX, very hyped card. Electrike, and a Gardevoir Spirit Link. I'm getting crapped on on the uh, EX and Full Art department, jeez. Yeah, step got, up your game. I know, I'm working on it, right? I got Repeat Ball, which is an interesting trainer. I'm sure there's some applications for it. It searches for a Pokemon that you already have in play. So, I mean, that's certainly not a bad uh, card to have. So, you know, it's got some applications. Something like, you know, search uh, some more Deoxys or any other bench sitter you have. Yeah, I can and, definitely use those in my Garchomp deck. Yeah, for sure. Got Foil Kyogre Spirit Link and an Escape Rope. Escape Rope, another reprint in this set. Which, the Escape Rope, I think, is a nice, nice little staple in here, just being able to switch out the actives. Yeah, much like Switch, I think it's the kind of card that, that's just good to have around. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh man, we got double Ziggy Zags. We have regular, we got a Reverse Foil, a Zig Zagoon, a Rare is a Starmie, and we have a Silent Lab and a Repeat Ball. Over here we got Reverse Nidorina. We actually got the double Nidorina too. Uh, the Groudon <laughs> Spirit Link. And earlier I made the comment of if we flip heads on this guy, it'll one-shot everything. I was wrong. It doesn't one-shot White Wailord EX. Oh, yep, you got me. He is 10 short on that one. Wailord EX is real big. He's <laughs> really big. 
Uh, oh. I don't imagine doing much attacking with him. No, but he is one but heck he of is a wall. A really, really strong wall. Exactly. 250 HP. Whenever you attach an energy to him, you heal all special conditions off mm -hmm. of him. You can heal 30 off him a turn with that stadium. It's silly. I love that card. He still gets one shot by G Booster, though. Yeah, a lot of things do. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> Here in my pack, we have Versifoil EXP share. We have a Wish Cash, another Alpha Growther, which is pretty cool. And we have a Bunnelby. Energy Retrieval. Got a Foil uh, Wonder Energy, which is really sick. Oh, and that then is sick. Aegislash. They make sure you guys not have weakness. So I think that could be a pretty good card in the right deck. Make sure the team can't get one shot. Absolutely. Aegislash just has nice defensive cards, like it yeah, should. Yeah, yeah. It makes sense. But in the same token, though, I am waiting for a sword form one that's just, mm -hmm. just that's there to just stomps. kill things. Yeah. All right, we have a reverse foil wish cache, regular foil ground on. I put that in the wrong pile because I'm a big silly. Tentacool Dude, and a bundle bee. Lots of lots of half arts in that one. Yeah, got a reverse metacham, Breloom, silent lab, and rare candy. Can so, I, yeah, can never have enough rare candies. You really can't. Rare candy's been around for a long time, and it. I've That's a card that, whether it was rare candy or not, we had. Uh, what was it, Pokemon Breeder the first time? Yep, first time it's Pokemon Breeder. But it's basically been in the game since forever. So. Yep. All right, in this pack here we have Verse Foil Weakness Policy, which is pretty cool. We have a Ancient Trait Gorbis. We have another Maxi's Hidden Ball Trick, and everybody's favorite Bidoof! I got Drover over here. He's a really cool guy, you know. I just want to pet him. Bijou, who doesn't, Pete, right? <laughs> Weakness oh, policy yes. and rough seas. Come. <laughs> Don't know if communists are that into Pokemon. I just know very little of that culture. I won't lie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last pack is this side of the box. Oh, man, you got a couple ahead of me somewhere in the middle. Oh, I wonder how that happens. Jeez, I slowed down too. I thought Ooh. I was. Oh, what did you get over there? We have first foil Agron Spirit Link. We have There's ourselves a full arts Primal Ground on EX. Wow! Look at Check just this out, guys. show that off. That is really really cool. Let me take a look at this myself. My goodness! It's only taken us five sets, but we finally have full art Megas. About time. And the, the texturing of that card is just incredible. So beautiful. Yeah, it's absolutely incredible. I mean, I don't think it's probably gonna show too well. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how well the texturing shows over camera, but I can tell you the card itself looks incredible, guys. It's gorgeous. Got a reverse tentacle, Torchic, and the card. I don't think we've seen the Torchic yet. It's got barrage, so double attacking. And I'm gonna get caught up on that other half of the box. Do these right quick and keep going, Pete. Obviously, that's fair. I didn't even realize that I was going ahead of you. I, I thought I was right with you. That's why I, <laughs> I... Maybe I accidentally had some switch side. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it don't matter. It's not a big deal. We're yeah. opening the same amount in the end. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Ooh. I got a Slugman and Medicham out of that pack. And to go with that Primal Ground on, I have the regular really ground, ground on. Wow. Yeah, we've been pairing this real good with each other. Either okay. I get pairs or we both get the... Ooh. Okay, well, not quite as cold, not the full art, but I did get the Primal Kyogre EX. That thing actually is pretty absurd. Yeah, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, just to check what this guy does, his attack is Tidal Storm. It moves two energies from this Pokemon to one of your benched Pokemon, and then it does 30 more damage for each of your opponent's benched Pokemon EXs. So, can do a boatload of damage and move some energies around. Absolutely. And notes that it is an ancient trader as well and has oh, alpha yeah, growth. Is. So, it has built in acceleration. It what, has uh, absurd damage. I didn't catch this when we had it with the aggro feeling, too. Does, what's this guy have for his. Uh, he has the Omega Barrier. So, the barrier? he can't be okay, affected so can't by be... lasers. He can't be captured. It makes him a little more resilient. That's always good. He's definitely more offensive than Kyogre's. Er, Ground on is more defensive while mm -hmm. Kyogre is more offensive. Balances itself out a bit. Here in my pack, we have a reverse foil rare candy. We have a nice foil Azumarill ancient trait, which is pretty cool. More fairies. Everybody should love fairies. And it seems like bike. everyone is loving fairies lately, so. If, if we get one pull in these boxes, I'll show why everybody's loving fairies. Uh huh. 
Whoa. You got a reverse Tangela, the rare foil Medicham, not the same as the uh, the half art one, different card, and a Professor Birch's observation. Look at him just running. He's just he's he's got the eye he's of the tiger. To be. He's, he's got somewhere he's got it, man. He's got the arms going with the breathing. Oh, he is going. He's still in his lab too. It's not even like he's he's just starting now. He's gonna have a tough time. <laughs> Professor Barish is in for the struggle, my friends. He is always in for the struggle. All right, out of this pack, Reverse Foil Team H, which is nice. We have the Starmie and an Agron Spirit Link. Hey, everyone loves foil trainers, so can't go wrong with those. Absolutely. Spinda, Probopass, Skip Rope, and Kyogre Spirit Link to go with the nice Primal Kyogre EX we got. There you go. Getting all sorts of things just to go together. Yeah, you get a... A kind of disproportionate amount of spirit links to Megas, but, you know, yeah, that's okay. you'll have that. When one is a uncommon and the other is, you know, a Mega EX, like, that's just... Here we have a Reverse Foil Gorbis Ancient Traits. We have our Rare as Delcaddy. We have a Repeat Ball and a Shrine of Memories. Yeah, we've got Dive Fall over here, uh, Reverse Foil Haunage, and Kingdra. Kingdra's always cool. Love me some Kingdra's. Mm -hmm. There have been many a cool Kingdra. Alright. These silly code cards out of the way. Here in this pack I have a Reverse Foil Nidda Queen. We have an Ancient Trait Ludicolo. Love that dude. And a Fresh Water Set. Sometimes you just get real thirsty. The amount of water coming out in the set seems like oh. more often than not. There's no droughts anytime soon here, my friends. Your voice foil crawled on. An Excadrill and a Shrine of Memories. Like the memories. Like in the corner of my I, just, I don't know mind. why I thought this when you started singing. I thought you were going to start singing in the heat of the moment. <laughs> I, I was getting real hyped. I was ready to join in. I was like, what? wait. <laughs> Never mind, Pete. <laughs> in this pack, I have Ground on Spirit Link Reverse. We have an Ancient Trader Swampert. That guy's really cool. Um, an Energy Retrieval and Escape Rope. Neat thing about Swampert, another Alpha Growth, or number one. But he also has the ability Diving Search, allows you to search your deck for any card and put it on top of your deck after you shuffle. And then uh, Hydro Pump, which is pretty standard for a lot of water types, 40 damage, but does 30 more for each water attached to it. It's a bit bigger of a pump than normal. Exactly. It's, it's normally normally 10, actually, I think. And yeah, for three energy, and if they're all waters, you're, you're hitting, you're hitting and good. And in worst case scenario, he doesn't have to have water energies either, so you could just attack to attack with them if... You know, if you're ever in a tough spot, it's like you could easily alpha growth them with a water and a double right. colorless and, and start just attacking for seventy. Which is, you know, a decent amount of damage for one equip turn. And a septile energy retrieval and another shield energy. Do you like me my shield energy? Throw a couple of them on that aggron, just make him be a piece. He's tank. not going anywhere, yeah. The shield energy seems really, really good. No, oh, there we go. I'm much like Pete's box, I got the Kyogre to go with my primal Kyogre. <laughs> This guy's attacks, return two water energies, attach this Pokemon to your hand, and water pulses, put your opponent's Pokemon to sleep. It's kind of funny, the uh, the synergy we've got with him having growth on the Mega and bouncing energies on the first one. Mm -hmm. Here we have Reverse Foil Regular Kyogre. We have a uh, Ancient Trait Wish Cash, a Wonder Energy, which is pretty awesome, Electric, and a Teammates. So overall, that was a pretty solid attack for like just support in general. Mm -hmm. My favorites are when all three uncommons are trainers. Can't ask for much more. <laughs> Sometimes, awkwardly, the most difficult thing to get for your deck is just enough trainers. Mm -hmm. Got an EXP share over here. Reverse Meditate and a different Swampert. It this is one, different Swampert. A little bit less exciting. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's cool. I do love me Swampert. I'll be honest, it's just the art, man. The art gets me. Oh, I know. I just love, look at this dumb Actually, face. Actually, I really like snipe attacks in general, so being able to snipe a bench guy for 60 is never a, never a bad deal. Absolutely. For this pack here, we have Verse Starmie. We have uh, Diggers B, though. And a Rough Seas. Rough Seas are nice. And I keep your waters all healed up. 
Over here we got a reverse foil electric, which is just adorable. Yeah. Zoom roll and a rare candy. So my favorite thing in the world is just ripping open packs. It's just a, it's a rush you can't get anywhere else in the world. It really is. Here in this pack we have a reverse repeat ball. We have a rare wall rain. Gotta love that walrus. And a dive ball. Just sounds preposterous when you say it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Got a reverse soul rock, uh, a really cool barrier riparian. Oh, that thing Riperia looks rather. so sweet. Yeah, it looks really cool. Uh, a ground spirit link and a silent lab. Let's look at this guy here real quick. Why not? Uh, he here. looks. We got stage two, 160 HP. So he's beefy. He's got a mega barrier, so you're not catching or lasering him. Rock wall. Any damage done to your Pokemon by an opponent's attack is reduced by 10. So instant 10 damage reduction. And hammer arm for two fighting, two colorless, 100 damage, discard the top card of your opponent's deck. So 100 damage and mill and straight up defense in all your Pokemon. It does a little bit of everything. And having the Omega uh, barrier plus his ability kind of makes him like he has two abilities, which is really sweet. He would be a sweet Maxi's target. Yeah, yeah, he would. It would be a great match to start it. Because he can sit on the bench, your opponents can't get him up for an easy kill, and, and you know it's not going to be easy. 160 is a lot to do. No, but then you're losing 10 damage on everything else that, you know, a lot of a lot of decks are set up to do exactly, you know, one shots or two shots or whatever, and he's just going to throw that all out of sync. Oh, my boy. You got a nice Hippopotas, or whatever Hip the heck his name is. Hippop? Hippop and and you always give her the easy ones. <laughs> Here we have a reverse foil rough seas, and to go with that reverse foil rough seas, we have Waylord. Oh, well, Waylords, what's up, guys? And a weakness policy. I love Waylord. Uh, I also love stalling and not doing too much. <laughs> <laughs> I have not gotten a full art. Just realized that now. I, I did get another primal grout on. Ooh, which is. Not nearly as cool as the full art one, but still really cool. You can check this guy out for reference, guys. It's cool. That full art, though, man, that is a really, really sweet pull. Oh, we need more full arts. Always do. Full arts are my favorite. They're a crack addiction. Everyone's favorites. There. In this pack here, we have reverse full of Brava. We have the Ancient Trade X Control, which I'm going to talk about him. I was and just going to say, he looks awesome, so I'll wait for you to talk about him. We have Repeat Ball and Scorched Earth. All right, this X Control. This one has a Mega Barrage. He's the double attacker. One real sweet thing about him is he can set up in one turn and go. First attack called Dredge. Search your deck for two energy cards and attach them to this Pokemon. Shuffle your deck afterwards. And it's one energy, so you do that, you dredge, now you, you have can three. Use the other attack. You can use Mock Claw. It does 50, but it isn't affected by resistance. Oh yeah, so the first time you play him, you can, like you said, one energy attack at the other two, and then attack for 50. And then the next turn, you're attacking for 100 as long as he stays up. Exactty. Pretty, pretty solid. Cool. Metal type, you can play him defensively with the shield energy. Put shield energy on him, make him a little bit harder to kill. Mm -hmm. Over here, we got a Rough Seas, a Baby Roll, not quite as loved as Bidoof, but... And then a Blaziken, which also kind of sweet card. After it sets up with an attack, it can pay for its cost for heat lobes a couple times, which is 100 damage for two energies. Not bad at all. Uh, 100 for two is just silly. Yeah. All right. Here we have a reverse Ancient Trade Ash Maril. We have a rare as regular Kyogre. And a Birch really is missing out on a meeting. He is either late or he is just trying to get forgot his to shut the oven off, you think? In. What's that? Maybe he forgot to shut the oven off? He might have. Or maybe he's just really excited to get attacked by a zigzagoon out in the grass. That's five probably feet away. it. Probably it. <laughs> Almost definitely it. Bag <laughs> on Spirit Link, Cool Torching, <coughs> Groomish, and a rare Zadel Caddy. Oh man, now I'm behind. How the heck that happened? How does this I happen? Think, I think I actually doing? pulled cards from one stack into the other. It the happens. Yeah. All right, our reverse is uh, Rhyhorn. Let me put it in the right stack. We got another full art. We got a full art teammates. Wow. That's going to see some play. It's got yeah. some nice uh, texturing on that as well. Yeah, that card's going to be all over the place. So Even just the reverse full teammates we pulled earlier I thought was really awesome just oh, to absolutely. have. absolutely. So great. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, over here we have a reverse leg truss and a nine tails, which has an interesting ability. It doesn't let people use stadium cards, which can be actually effective right now because a lot of they're printing enough stadiums now to where yeah, there's a lot every of decks running utility something. stadiums. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean you can use that to lock your stadium in place, so your opponent can't get rid of it, or just make it so neither player gets to play with one. Exactly, and both can be kind of uh, bold. My pack there, uh, Ancient Trait Gorbis, pretty much. Reverse Will Seeker. So, Lombre, Moron, Wonder Energy. Yeah. I'm going to try to get through these a little bit quicker. We have Reverse Foil Bidoof. I bet that's your fave. We have Beedrill. We have an Ancient Trait Torchic. Ancient Trait Tenkul. Plow through this again, real quick. Oh, God. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait to crack this last one until we're on our last pack. So let Pete have the spotlight for a minute here. <laughs> here we have reverse foil escape rope. We got a sweet ancient trait Nidda Queen, which is pretty cool. And we got one of those fabled shield energies. Those things are awesome. One more and we go back to it. I'm, I'm pretty happy with uh, just the pulls overall so far. Oh, yeah, between the two boxes, a lot of really cool stuff. We got a sweet reverse foil scorched earth. Our rare here is Tangrowth. We have an Archie's Ace in the Hole, and you gotta go fast with them bikes. All right, last packs, guys. Down so, to it. Let's see if we can get some more action here. Oh, and we did. Oh, did My you get it? My first full art. Yeah, full you art. Got Archie's it. Ace in the Hole. So Woo! between the two boxes, we got Maxi's and Archie's. Oh, that's sweet. I think the only full art supporter we've missing is Birch. Yeah. I guess the only one we haven't pulled, which is actually pretty sweet. Uh, reverse foil Weedle on mine, but I did get me a Trevenant EX. Not to be outdone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Just, uh, texturing on this isn't too bad. It's a pretty sweet card. Just show it off a little bit, you know. Absolutely. Trevenant, I feel he's a good card, but not right now. I agree with that very, very heavily. It's, he's, a, it's a hard time for grass cards. You have to be... It really is. Because Genesect's in the spotlight. Mm -hmm. And you're... The, the where you need to be is so high, and where the other cards are is just isn't where Janusect is. Absolutely, and it's rough. The, the bar has been set for them, and, you know, and it's a shame because that card's probably not good without Verizian. It's great with Verizian. Genesect's just more great, and yes. it probably won't ever get to be played with Verizian and not Genesect. Exactly. That world almost certainly doesn't exist. It really doesn't. Dark Forest, for one energy, doing 20 damage and defending Pokemon can't retreat, which can be kind of useful. I mean, we do have items that allow us to forego that, but in a limited format, especially like in a pre-release, this card is actually really solid. That's true. In those formats, basically any EX is great, but that one's incredible. Absolutely. With Wood Blast, it is basically like Keldeo EX's attack, but for grass. Three colorless, 50 damage, 20 more for each grass attached. You just keep stacking it. For a sealed event, Trevenant is your boy. You pull one of those, you are walking out of the way as the winner. So, at least play some pretty solidly. Absolutely. So let's overlook at least our uh, supers at, yeah. and ultras. We got some pretty cool stuff here. All right, out of my box here, we have, as far as regular EXs, we have the Agron, Gardevoir, <laughs> Ground on, Whale Lord, my boy, and Trevenant, which is pretty cool. And definitely did some pretty good with the uh, with the full arts here. With the full art teammates, the full art Maxi's hidden ball trick, and that gorgeous primal ground on EX. Yeah. Any box with three uh full arts is pretty awesome already, but the ones you got even make it more special. That's a great box. Over here, not a bad box by any means either, a pretty great box actually. Still we got Mega Ground on and Kyogre, Mega Agron. Uh, the Kyogre to go with our Primal Kyogre, Whale Lord, who's just awesome, and this awesome Full Art Archies. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I, I want that Archies Ace in the hole. It's mm -hmm. just, it's so cool. And I definitely see that being useful more in water decks than Maxis Max is fighting. Is. Yeah, I agree, I agree. I think Archies will see a little more play just because of what you can get back with it. But in general, I think they're both actually really, really great cards to, to splash into decks that can use them. Even if you just play it as a one up like... It's, it's such a strong comeback card if you're down to the wire. You have that one card left just to get a Pokemon back in five new cards. It's oh. pretty sick. Oh, absolutely. Trainer-wise, we both did pretty good. I mean, we kind of... I wouldn't say we got a full set of everything, but we got solid counts of just about we got, every trainer. Yeah, good counts of everything. Um, I know I'm a little short on the energies out of just my box, but that's really it. 
Yeah, and I mean, energies always have been kind of a pain. Even with uh, in uh, in uh, Phantom Forces, it was hard to pull the mystery energies to. You averaged yeah. about two a box. So. Yeah. That's well, that's, that's actually exactly where I was, too. I have two of each of them, so that sounds about right. Absolutely. The Ancient Traders are definitely sweet, especially some of the hollow foil ones. There's a lot of utility in some of these. Mm -hmm. um, X Control just being stupidly fast and set up. Swampert being a powerhouse. Um, let's see. Yeah, some of the cards are awesome, and the ones that aren't look amazing. Absolutely. So you can't King go wrong. Kingdra is definitely sweet, solid dragon attacker. Um, out of your pile, you had the Rhyferior, which is just yeah, an amazing and we talked about utility that being card. One of the better targets for Maxis, actually. Yeah, that thing is an amazing utility card. It doesn't look bad either. No, it looks amazing. Uh, you know, non-ancient trade cards, this Age of Slash was actually a pretty sweet card. Absolutely. A lot of neat hollow foils in this one. Yeah, maybe not an incredible card by any means, but turning off weaknesses is a pretty sweet ability. The neat thing about this, especially playing this in limited or sealed or anything like that, you have such a variety of just really cool mechanics that just complement it. There's each so other. many things. So many abilities in this set too. Oh. Like one of the things I really like about having all the uh, Omega and Alpha cards with their abilities, what I forget what they're called actually. What'd you call them the abilities? Ancient traits. <laughs> the ancient trait cards. Uh, is that you have so much so many fewer uh generic just vanilla Pokemon than before, so like so many more of your cards actually do something instead of being your generic, you know, basic attach an energy attack for 50. Well, now these guys can get two energies or they're not affected by trainers or whatever else. Like Exactly. It just brings a nice little disruption to the normal competitive play where we had just have Lysanders and lasers played all the time. Having things that are nullified against that. Things that, just having abilities that don't get shut off because somebody likes to play a Garbodor and throws a tool on it and then you just poops in your Cheerios. Mm -hmm. And double attack especially is something that is probably more exploitable than the other abilities as far as breaking it, but it's also something like mechanically we haven't seen many times in Pokemon things that can attack like more than once. Absolutely. Uh, when I first heard the announcement of the double attacker, I actually immediately had fear. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's something that could legitimately, if they put it on the wrong ability, could be right. highly exploited. But from what we've seen with some of our with some of our Omega Barragers, they're fairly balanced for what they do. Um, like the Excadrill, only cranking out a max of 100, 140 with a Muscle Band. Right. Or with the Nita Queen, you could hit that Magic 180 with a Muscle Band, but you're smacking yourself for 40. Right. So it kind of balances itself out, and that and they're generally evolutions. Yeah, the not e many basics. Which... The EXs and the Megas who have them, they have more balanced Ancient Traits. Those having Barrage would not be okay. Right, putting it on one of the, the regular EXs so it could really, really put a lot of damage out there would be very scary. Yes. I definitely agree with that. But yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much the pulls out of these. Um, definitely leave comments, see uh, who do you think got the better pulls and whatnot, and just in general, whatever you think, please leave a comment down, like the video, subscribe to us for more of this content, and uh, we'll see you around for the next set. Yep, thanks for watching, guys. Let us know what you think. Hopefully your boxes come out as sweet as these ones did.